Scott looks to thread it, and that's a fantastic turn, and Unal is away down the right-hand side, he's got Solanke in the middle, here is Solanke, what a tackle by Lewis Dunk, comes to Semenyo, and away by Igor. Lewis Dunk, who was suffering seconds ago, with an absolutely monstrous tackle here to prevent Solanke from adding to his goal tally for the season. Superb. Gone short with a bizarre angle, but it might still work out. Lewis Dunk flicks it over his own crossbar. I see many corners like that. Kind of bizarre all round. The corner routine, the clearance. Lewis Cook from the left. And it's nodded in for McLean. And it's Marcos Sanetti. He was there unmarked. And he nods it beyond the Brooken. Clinical header. And Bournemouth lead after less than a quarter of an hour. Brighton given away far too many early goals. And that will be weighing on the mind of Roberto De Zerbi. He is furious at his side. He's furious, isn't he? Absolutely furious. Buonanotte. The line he goes to a fire, and a fire is skipped beyond his man, and a fire's cross is deep. Is there a handball there. Brighton think there was. It does graze his arm, but he's desperately trying to get it out of the way. We'll play Gilmore. Helped on to Buonanotte. Oh, Buonanotte has skipped past two. He's in on goal here, Buonanotte. And he's overrun it. He went for the solo effort. This was quite brilliant to skip beyond two in the blink of an eye. But then with men in the middle, he chose to go alone. And in hindsight, not the right choice. One back by Scott, Igor left it, Scott could be in here, Unal wide of the target, glaring miss, goal gaping and Unal couldn't find the target despite Scott's brilliant work. Igor thought it was going to run out, Scott thought otherwise and read it perfectly. Unal's movement was good, the finish wasn't. A really bad miss should be hitting the target from there, and he knows it. It's stressful being a football manager, things can turn quickly. Great work from Solanke, really well played, and then it's a 1 2 with an Albion player, Cliver. Barco's in, drops for Scott, and there's a deflection there. I think it's yet another classy Lewis Dunk block. Irresistible from Solanke. And then Kleiber involved. Came to Scott, and it is Lewis Dunk back there again. How many times does he put his body on the line and succeed in thwarting an opposition goal? Smart, very smart, and they could be in here for two, and it's the side netting. Justin Kleiber with another big miss for Bournemouth. It was a bit of a calamity in the Albion defence, and he breezed through Kleiber. Had Semenyo in the middle. Teasing a fire. And Buonanotte still going as well. Utara stands it up to the back post. Unal's there! And Unal gets his goal. Delight for the Cherries marksman.
Bournemouth have doubled their lead and Ennis Sunal has finally got himself on the score sheet on his first Premier League start for the club. Clyburn at the heart of it. Really causing problems for a fire of Buonanotte. Utara on the overlap. And Unal rising highest and meeting it firmly. The power he generates there. Excellent header. Excellent goal. And Bournemouth make their superiority count. The words to say. Roberto De Zerbi. It's Semenyo. Down the line, Cliver. Cliver, the Brooklyn with the stop. Semenyo, and then Cliver. Brooklyn equal to Cliver, strike. Pedro. Pedro hammers it. Welbeck takes it off his toes. A Dingra and a Dingra loops one. Great stop from Travers. Closest Brighton have come. And Mark Travers springing into action to thwart a Dingra. Teed it up nicely and it was dipping in. There's Tony Bloom and Paul Barber watch on. We all know how frustrated. Roberto De Zerbi and his side are. They'll be feeling it too. Bonanotte. Into Welbeck. Little exchange with Enciso. And it's well blocked. And Enciso's there. And it's wide. Brighton won the handball. Bonanotte certainly does. Enciso's first touch almost straight on the score sheet. More threat. From Brighton's young stars, Buonanotte taking aim, came back to Enciso and he couldn't steer it goalwards. Semenyo away from Barco. And Barco's gone charging in there. Menyo's felt it. There's a little wrestling match that Semenyo comes out on top of. And then Barco in his desperation to get to the ball. He has a little nervous glance at the officials here. And Iriola making the point that it should be a penalty and a chance, but 3-0. And putting those three points beyond doubt. Back to Enciso. Enciso onto his right. And Enciso! Oh, oh, he's so close. He's made a difference. There is magic in Enciso's boots. And he knows where the goal is. So close to halving the deficit there. That would have been absolutely wonderful. Semenyo's gone down again. Barco. Pedro. Pedro. Good work from Pedro. The deflection takes it out for a corner. Brighton getting closer. Pedro sending two players to the byline with his dummy. Looks like he just wants to hide away. Such is his frustration. Nicely worked by Cliver. He's looked brimming with confidence all afternoon and he might get it back here. Solanke might as well. Handball appeals. They're claiming that Lewis Dunk stopped this attack with his hand and it definitely hits his hand. No doubt about it. He's gone to ground to make the block. And VARC, no reason to ask Paul Tierney to check it. Here it goes for Clivert. Clivert one on one with Dunk. Clivert scores. If it wasn't beyond doubt before that moment, it is now. 
There was far too much space here. Clivert with acres of green, green grass to run into, stepped in field and then, after steadying himself, just smashes it beyond Verbrucken. Nothing the keeper could do, and nothing Brighton can do about the scoreline. It's another tough defeat to take on the road.